After a gruelling three day journey made up of two buses, two tuk tuks, one car, two boats and over 15 hours on the Mekong River, we have made it to our first main stop in Laos. Laos is country number 17 in our full year of travel and we've never been here before. So we're ready to start exploring the city of Luang Prabang. We have made it over to our first stop here in Luang Prabang. It is Wat Siang Tong, which is one of the most visited temples here in Luang Prabang. It's over 400 years old and I believe it used to be the royal temple. It was a site where royal ceremonies would take place, among other things like a religious site for monks, site of celebrations, a lot of different things happened here. The temples here at this complex are so detailed. This one here has like emerald green touches in the tips, as well as on top of the pillars outside the front and then very intricate gold detailing on the outside. Once you go in, the walls are black, but covered with intricate gold, like what looked to be like hand painted images. And I overheard a tour guide a lot of the time when I get my facts, it's from overhearing tour guides that I haven't paid for, saying that those inside paintings are quite often touched up because of wear and tear, like normal wear and tear from weather, people touching them, light, etc. So I think that happens every three to four years if I heard correctly, but do not quote me on that because I am unsure. And at the back of the temple we found this beautiful mosaic literally on the back wall but there's also these smaller structures as well which are covered in these really like they're like drawings but done by mosaic so the whole thing's not mosaic but like little people and animals all done with little tiling so detailed and very beautiful how do you say the word mosaic mosaic <coughs> mosaic mosaic again mosaic mosaic it's mosaic. Who's right, guys? Thanks. Mosaic. Oh, Rosh. Mosaic. <laughs> I'm so confused now. It doesn't sound like a real word. We have now stopped for a quick bite to eat. We looked up what are the best budget eats in Luang Prabang, and this place came up. It's called Fon Fon Huang, I think is how you say it. We've ordered some food. Hopefully, it'll be delicious. We also have another delicious place that we've discovered over the last few days, so we'll definitely have to take you there at some point because that food was so good. That was delicious. We are now walking along Sisa Vangvong Road, also known as Foreigner's Street. This is the main street running through the historic district here in Luang Prabang, and along here you'll find the night market at night, but also a lot of the main sites here in the town, like the temples. If they're not on the street, they're just off of it. So it's kind of the main street running through the Luang Prabang. Now, Stace and I have never been to Lao before. And to be honest with you, I didn't know anything about Lao. So of course I had to do a little bit of research to get an idea of what Lao is about, because I don't know a huge amount of people who've been to Lao. And I, to be honest with you, I don't know why. Like, it's obviously so close to Thailand. So I really don't have a reason why Laos is a bit more untouched than other places in Southeast Asia. But during my research, what I did find was that the city of Luang Prabang came under French colonial rule. And I have to say that French influence is definitely still visible here from the buildings and the architecture to, you know, the type of pastries and bread in the shops. We've seen French and like Canadian merge together in Montreal. But we've never seen like a European style merge with an Asian style. So this is a very, very cool place. There are so many different temples here in Luang Prabang. However, we've done a lot of temples in our time in Southeast Asia so far. If you haven't seen our Chiang Mai video, we pretty much spent the whole day doing temples. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it up here. But so we might leave it to just one. Maybe we'll duck into another one a little bit later. But for now, we're gonna make our way back down Foreigner Street and head to the Royal Palace Museum. So turns out the museum is actually closed between 11.30 and 1.30. For now, we're not gonna wait. So I guess we'll just see you at the night market. And here we are at the night market. So the night market happens every single night here in this little like designated area and it's just off Foreigner Street. made our first purchase of the night here at the night market we've gone for some vegetarian yellow fried noodles cooked right in front of us you know as expected at a night market Stace is gonna do the first taste test yeah, it looks really hot. Mm -hmm. yeah, quite hot that's the downside of it being like literally straight off the walk 
<laughs> very long, but delicious. Really, really good. Some of the best noodles we've had outside. Wow. Those noodles were so good. Sace has gone back to get another plate because we ate it so quick and we want more. Mm -hmm. get that mm -hmm. There's a lot of people. Yeah, it's kind of interesting at this market. It seems to be like very distinctly split between food and like clothes and other items like that, crafts and stuff. So it's cool, we kind of sat down in the eating area. We're kind of stuffed now even though we only had those noodles, but they were really, really good noodles. So now we're just gonna wander through and see what else the market has before we call it a night. to the waterfall after a very interesting drive. Stace was in a very not proper not seat. <laughs> it was literally just like a cushion placed in the aisle. Didn't have a seat belt. It was not an enjoyable journey for her. But now we're walking towards the waterfall. What I didn't know was you walk through like this bear sanctuary with sun bears and moon bears and you get nice and close to see these bears and learn a bit about what's happening in terms of why they're in danger. I believe that bear bile extraction is their biggest threat, which is really sad. And it's just <laughs> reminding me of Ted. Not that Ted's a bear, but he's a big black dog and he has some similarities. But now I'm approaching one of the smaller waterfalls and I have to say, the color is really blowing me away. I'm not sure if the color is showing up for you guys as it is to us, but this is like a really light blue aqua color kind of similar to what we saw in Canada, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure there are no glaciers and glacier water around here in Laos, but very, very pretty. Are we gonna get in? Nope. It's actually not that hot today and that. It's actually not been hot really at all in Luang Prabang. The weather app has been saying like 27 every day, but it's not felt it and today is actually only 24, so even a bit cooler. Water, maybe single digits, I reckon. Yeah, it's, it's just chilly. I estimate that to be 16. I don't think it's single. I don't know, I can't tell. My toes aren't trained. There are these little fish in the water just below and like above, in between the waterfalls. And Stace said she read online that they're kind of similar to the fish that tourists often go and like stick their feet in the water and the fish like nibble at their toes. Apparently they're similar to them. I think a little bit bigger, but maybe they also enjoy a nibble? I'm not sure. How did you find that out, Stace? What were you Googling? On someone's blog. Huh? She read it on someone's blog. I'm taking one for the team and I'm going in. It's cold. I made it in. It's actually not too bad, although I'm only knees up at the moment. But not too bad, better than the one we did in Pai. That was way too cold. This is better, but cold. I've come much closer to the falls now. I'm fully under. It's very cold, but they are so beautiful. Look at them. There's a bunch of kids sitting on the rocks, jumping in. But it's pretty cool being up here close. There's not that many people in here now. I'm loving it. The commitment to the high pull up. Like the video for Stacey's commitment. So cold. <laughs> uh, I'm so warm now. Now entrance into Quan Si was 25,000 kip each and our transfer from our hotel which is just like it was organized through the hotel but I think they picked up a number of different people from other hotels was 100,000 kip each not including seat belts. <laughs> the higher up you walk so don't settle for the first bit and stop there and have a picnic keep walking up because it just gets cooler and cooler and we still haven't even made it to the very top the big waterfall the final act so that's where we're heading now but so far i don't think we're gonna be disappointed We've seen some pretty big falls. I mean, we were in Niagara Falls only a couple of months ago. If you haven't seen that video, we'll link it up there. And they're obviously massive, massive falls, very famous. But these ones are really pretty. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like the water's going 
in like slow motion like if you were to take like a long exposure photo which we'll, we'll put one on the screen so you know what we mean if you don't know what we're talking about but that's kind of what it looks like and it's pooling at the bottom in again the like turquoise aqua water I don't think you're allowed to swim up here but very pretty. Well I've really enjoyed our time here at the falls but our driver is about to leave so we've got to make our way back down to the car park and then we're going to take you guys to one of our favorite spots to eat that we found here in Luang Prabang. Definitely come to the falls. Oh, yeah but definitely come to the falls. And just to keep this video interesting I'm going to take us to the restaurant that we're going to in the same way Dorothy got home in the Wizard of Oz. Unfortunately, our favorite restaurant was closed tonight, which we only realized halfway there, but it is a Sunday, so we should just thought to look it up. But on the positive, we've come to another place that we were probably going to take you to tomorrow anyways, which is on the same road, kind of about a five minute walk from our favorite place. And this is a bit more of a local hotspot. A lot of locals seem to eat here. Very, very cheap and really delicious. I think we've eaten here two or three times. It's really, really good. So we're glad we get to bring you here a day early. Okay guys, we're gonna do a test. I'm not a very like passionate Pepsi or Coke person. I'm not a big soft drink drinker at home. Only when it's cheap when we're traveling. But Rosh is a very passionate Coke is better better than Pepsi. So I bought with a Pepsi and she's got a Coke because I've started to think maybe Pepsi is better. So I'm gonna blind test her and see if she actually gets that right. Because I'm curious because I think Pepsi's better. I already feel like this is a Pepsi. That's Coke. You don't meant to guess, you meant to say which one's better. Oh, Coke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> number one is better and number one is coke we've got you two dishes to share this one we've had every time we've come here which is come with what they call it like fried rice with curry powder is essentially the concept essentially fried rice but it's got a bit of spice to it it reminds us a lot of the dish we make back home which again i can't remember what it's called but it's like cauliflower chicken with curry powder it's really good this is really good and then we've also gone for some fried yellow noodles in soy sauce which we're hoping will taste a little bit like what we had at the night market last night because that was so good and i think off the top of my head it's like 30,000 kip simple but really good Good morning everybody. We've had a slight change of plans today as Stace has woken up really really unwell. I think she's got a very heavy cold. It's not COVID thankfully but she's still unable to go out today. We had planned a tour to the caves and we booked it. We had to cancel this morning but you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's just me for now. I'm on my way to pick up some lunch and I'm just going straight back to where we left you last night because those yellow noodles were so good we're gonna get them again and hopefully they'll cure Stace I hope so because she's pretty down at the moment the residential streets of Luang Prabang are so quiet like three minute walk really to the main strip where everything kind of happens and other than that it's so quiet it is now the next day and unfortunately the lunch rush went and got me yesterday didn't cure me as quickly as we would have liked and we actually had to cancel our plans today as well which is really disappointing but it happens sometimes. Fortunately, I am feeling a little bit better. So we are going to go out for dinner tonight because we promised we'd take you to our favorite restaurant. So that's what we're doing. Come to one of our favorite restaurants that serves our favorite dish that we've had so far in Lao, the chicken curry. So that's what I've ordered. Stace has gone with the ginger chicken. And I also got a mango smoothie as a drink because Stace has had it every other time we've come here and it's so good. I've got to get one before we go to our next destination tomorrow. Guys, if you're coming to this area, you have to promise me that you'll come to Bamboo Garden Restaurant. This chicken curry is one of the best chicken curries I've ever had. As I said the other day, it's like a mix of yellow curry and Japanese katsu curry. It's a mix I never knew that I needed, but it's so good. It's just, it hits the spot every time. And that is it for our time here in Luang Prabang. We've had a great time, all things considered. This one here is ready for a well earned movie night, I think, and then an early night. Hopefully she'll be feeling a lot better in our next destination. We get on a really, really fast train tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. If you liked the video, give it a like and comment. It really helps push the video out to more people. And we've got a goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers before our year is up. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and join our adventures. But for now, we're going to say goodnight. We'll see you in our next spot.